Hey guys, this is Sean with Red Air Industries, and today I want to talk about the video quality menu in Avid Media Composer, which is this little guy at the bottom of the screen below the tracks. I feel like there's a lot that can be said about it, but I'm just going to go over a few of the basic things you need to know. First thing I want to talk about is the few different qualities that this cycles through. You have yellow, yellow-green, green, and green 10. Note that this only affects the quality of playback and doesn't actually affect the final quality of the footage. Starting with yellow, you're only going to have a sixteenth of the resolution of the original quality. The benefit of keeping it on yellow is if you want to play back your sequence and it's got a lot of unrendered real-time effects. Obviously the downside of that is that it makes your picture look blurry. Also if you've got graphics on there, they're very stair-steppy. Next is the yellow-green quality. This puts your resolution at a fourth of the original quality. And as you can see, it sharpens the image just a little bit more. This quality works perfectly for playback on laptops or other machines that aren't as powerful as a newer desktop. Then you have green, which is your full resolution. This is where your quality will look the sharpest in your preview monitor, and it's also recommended if you want to play your stuff back for clients. After that you have green 10, and that's just for 10-bit resolution, which is rarely ever used for average editing. And if you're not sure if you're working in 10-bit resolution, then chances are you're not. So there you go, just a little information on your video quality menu and the benefits of using each one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you could, hit that subscribe button. And if you've got any questions or you want to see us do other tutorials, just leave a comment below. Also check us out on Facebook at Red Arrow Industries, or on our website at redarrowindustries.com.